This is about defending democracy. This is no longer Democrats versus Republicans. What do you want your kids to believe in? There must be give and take. This is White Flag with Joe Walsh. Hey, we will get back to conversations this next week. I apologize here the last couple of weeks. Um, just been doing a bunch of house cleaning and getting some stuff together, but we've got some some cool guests coming up to have conversations with, uh, namely uh, Palestinians Gandhi, um, a peace activist who's been in uh, the West Bank, Judea and Samaria, um, for years, uh, I am going to speak with him next week about what's going on in the Middle East. He's a fascinating, interesting gentleman, and we will get into it. Uh, but we do have a number of uh, good conversations that we will get back into um, beginning next week. So thanks for hanging in there and putting up with a daily bit of Joe. Uh, let me, let me sort of put it like this. It's not up to Joe Biden to defeat Donald Trump this year. It's up to you. It's up to the voters. It's not up to Biden. If Trump loses this year, if he's defeated, if he's stopped, it will be because of the American voter. It'll be because of the American people, not because of Joe Biden. May sound strange, may sound wrong, but it's not up to Biden, it's up to you. I'm... I'm a, I'm, I'm a, a Roman Catholic kid, grew up in a Catholic household, um, have always been Catholic, still am. When I grew up, I had to go to church. As long as I lived in my mom and dad's house, I had to go to church. Um... And it was that way until I, uh, even beyond college, when I was in college and I came home and stayed with my folks for a week or a weekend, whatever, uh, as long as I, as long as I was in their house that weekend, as long as I bedded there, as long as I stayed there, slept there, I had to go to church. Um, church to me growing up, uh, I, I went because I had to. It wasn't, a, it wasn't exciting. I wasn't inspired by the priest, by a sermon. Uh, the music, those of you who grew up Catholic, right? Never, never great music, right? It, music didn't move me. I didn't go because I loved the music. I didn't go because uh, the priest gave a rousing sermon that I loved. I didn't go because I was entertained. I went because I had to. Period. I was a little bit of a weirdo in, in that um, I've always had an interesting relationship, belief, relationship with God. And, and so I, I would find some mysterious religious meaning in the service. But generally, my, my and I don't want to get into that now, different issue. But generally, for those of us who grew up Catholic, church wasn't exciting. Church generally wasn't inspiring. Not like these, these uh, Catholic, right? It's not like these churches today, these newfangled New age, new wave churches today. I don't, you know, the Christian denomination. Some of these evangelical 
um, services, right? That are the music's off the charts. They've got full bands and guitars, and people are dancing in the in the aisles. And the priest, young kid, long hair, giving just a dynamic sermon that wants that uh, that inspires you to run across the world and do volunteer work across the world. That's not how I grew up. I grew up going to church because I had to. And church was boring. But I went. Uh, church was not exciting. But I went. It was not inspiring. But I went. I had to find my own dig deep down and find my own reason and inspiration uh, for what I got out of church. I, I was not uh, entertained by externally what was happening in that Catholic church that I grew up in. The point I'm making is this. You have to vote for Joe Biden. Joe Biden is not going to inspire you. He's not going to excite you. He's not going to move you. He's not going to compel you to be so damn motivated that you want to run through a brick wall to vote for that man. You ain't going to get any of that out of Joe Biden. Just like I got none of that out of church growing up. You're going to have to find your own inspiration, your own importance in getting off your ass and voting for Joe Biden. He's not going to give you a reason. Biden's not going to entertain you, man. He's not, I'm sorry, he's not one of these politicians that's going to give a rousing speech and just fire you up and baby, I want to vote for him. That ain't happening. You're going to have to find your motivation for voting. And like I went to church as a kid because I had to, not because I wanted to. You're going to have to vote for Joe Biden because you have to, not because you want to. And you have to vote for Joe Biden because Donald Trump has to be stopped. And Joe Biden right now is the only person who can keep Donald Trump from getting back into the White House. That is going to have to be your motivation, your inspiration. Your motivation, your inspiration to vote this year is going to have to be you deciding to stop Trump. Biden is not going to convince you. He's not capable of convincing you to stop Trump. You're going to have to find that motivation you're going to have to vote for Biden because you have to it's the only way we stop Trump if Trump loses you see it will be because of us not because of anything Biden can or will do it's going to be because of us we can't always be entertained. We can't always be inspired. We can't always be moved. We can't always get the candidate we want. Sometimes we just have to fucking suck it up and do what we have to do. It's on you. It's on you. If you want to stop Trump, you have to. To get out and vote for Biden. You have to. Hey, Joe Walsh, hope you've had a good week. Do me a favor. Tell some folks you know about this podcast. This former, now politically homeless, former congressman, now politically homeless guy. Uh, every day I put out a five, six, seven, eight minute hit like this. 
I do have a conversation every week with somebody with whom I disagree. Tell everybody you know. Tell some folks you know about White Flag with Joe Walsh. Send them a link to one of the, the episodes that you liked. Give them a taste of this thing. That would be a wonderful favor if you could spread the word a little bit about White Flag with Joe Walsh. Thank you. My email is joewalshwhiteflag at gmail.com. That's one word, joewalshwhiteflag at gmail.com. Hope you had a good week. Hope you're hanging in there. Relax this weekend. Be brave. Thank you for listening. Remember to listen, share, and follow White Flag with Joe Walsh on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere great podcasts are found. And be sure to leave a five-star review. This has been White Flag with Joe Walsh.